GTA 6 will be set in Leonida, Rockstar's fictional version of Florida. And whether you're from Florida or from a completely different country like me, you're going to really enjoy the comparisons we're going to make in today's video. Now, we'll get into the location comparisons at the end of the video, because what's even more interesting is almost all of the social media clips. I take medication. All right, good morning, Mr. Sullivan. You charge one count of ca carrying a concealed firearm. Cops say he was waving a handgun out in the hammocks. Sullivan often posts profanity-laced YouTube videos, threatening videos, all in character. His mom says he has mental issues. His sister... He's a very good-hearted person, you know. He doesn't, you know, look for any problems. Next, this is one of the most popular scenes in the trailer already, and it's this woman twerking on the car. But this also is based off something that happened in real life. I tell you what, man, Florida, you guys are just something else. This is crazy. And it's so funny because I've seen people talk about the GTA 6 trailer and say Rockstar is going so over the top, but these are things that literally happened in Florida. So it's really, really cool to see Rockstar put their own take on it. This one's one of my favorite clips, the gator walking into the convenience store. Well, this is actually based on something that happened 10 years ago when an alligator was outside a Walmart. This is something I really hope actually can happen if Florida is crazy. This actually did happen. Banging away at a neighbor's car, leaving plenty of dents. And I got you on, on video that you're destroying my car. In Thank the, you. In the video, you hear her spewing racial rants. You also see her knocking over a trash can and telling a woman to call the cops, which she did. The woman was arrested, but cut loose the next day because of COVID. A lot of people, myself included, were so confused when we saw this shot in the trailer. This guy's just out here in his thong, watering his grass. Would you believe me if I said what happened in real life is actually crazier than this? Yeah, have a look at this news report. A Florida man does yard work naked. That's right, there is a man in Florida that goes outside to do all of his yard work without clothes on. Rockstar was playing it safe by giving this guy a hat and a thong. Wrong. That's not what happened in real life. This man, not wearing a single thing. What about the Leonida man that's running naked at a gas station away from cops? I've seen there's been a bit of confusion about what this is referencing, and some people have actually showed the wrong clip because there have been multiple times that this has happened in Florida. Yeah, multiple, not just once. But thank you to Moore's Mutual Insurance on Twitter who found the exact clip that they copied. And this is it here. Rockstar recreated the exact thing almost perfectly. Incredible work. But the fact that this has happened so many times just makes me question what the hell you guys are doing in Florida. But it lets me know that this is going to be a really fun game when it comes out. There's going to be lots of crazy stuff like this. Next up, we've got the alligator in the pool. And again, you can search this up on YouTube and there will be multiple videos that comes up. This is, I don't want to say a common occurrence in Florida, but it has happened a few times. Look, man, I'm from Australia and I hear a lot of people talk about how our wildlife and all of the spiders here are pretty scary. I cannot imagine going into my backyard and seeing an alligator in my pool. Florida is just a different breed. Now, this little car crash scene where Rockstar says no overturning zone, they recreated this almost perfectly. In Florida, there was a car that flipped over just like this with cop cars right next to the crash, just like you can see in the GTA trailer. And this is it here. Rockstar absolutely nailed this. And then finally, we've got the ride out scene where all of the quad bikes and motorbikes are weaving in and out of traffic around cop cars. This is something that actually happens a lot in Miami. And what's crazy is they're even a lot bigger than they are in the GTA trailer here. Like there are hundreds of people that do these. Now let's take a look at some of the real life locations that we saw in the trailer. And starting with this shot of the Miami beach. It's crazy that I have to make this distinction, but yes, the top one here is real life. The bottom one is GTA 6. That's how good the game looks. So obviously Rockstar has shrunk the city down a bit, but you can see the exact real life buildings are right here in the game as well. Everything is absolutely perfect. All of these hotels or apartment buildings here by the water look one for one exactly the same. You know what? I'm going to say it. I think they actually look better in the game than they do in real life. And if you have a look at the beach itself, the umbrellas, the beach towels, all of them match pretty much perfectly. Next, we'll have a look at the Florida the keys. This is an awesome shot in the trailer. And the level of detail that Rockstar has gone to here is just incredible. Not only have they matched like the color of the water, the color of the islands just absolutely perfectly, but they've even nailed it down to this second bridge here that isn't fully constructed. And I guarantee in the game, these are going to be stunt jumps. 
So if you want to skip the traffic on the main bridge over to the Keys, you can just try and do this stunt jump and go down this second bridge. That'll be a lot of fun. As for the actual first key here itself, you can see it's a lot smaller in GTA than it is in real life, but we expect that. But the overall aesthetic and look absolutely nailed it. Now this nighttime shot here, obviously it's beautiful. I couldn't actually find a nighttime shot of this in real life. Now in real life, there's actually three islands. In GTA 6, it looks like there's only going to be one. So I'm not sure exactly which one of these three islands they've copied. But as for the shape and the overall look, it's exactly the same. They've nailed it again. Even something like this island to the right out here. You can see this in the game as well, off to the right. So I'm going to assume it's this final island that they're replicating in the game. Then we've got Ocean Drive. This is going to be probably the most iconic spot in the entire game. And Rockstar did it justice in the game by giving us a little clip of it at night time or in the evening because that's when the lights really get to shine. It was hard to find a shot at this exact angle but this should give you a good idea of how well Rockstar has nailed this and in the game it looks like this is going to be one of the locations where you can come and try and steal a lot of expensive cars. This part of the trailer where we see all of the cool lowrider cars in this district with all of the graffiti on the walls and whatnot this is actually based off Wynwood in Florida. Now what's so awesome about this is way back in 2019 we got one of the first GTA 6 leaks ever when someone from Wynwood posted a thing on social media showing that someone from Rockstar Games actually came out to their place of work to scout out the area and map it out for an upcoming video game. Of course, we now know that this is GTA 6 and it looks like they've done a really awesome job. And then the final reference we've got is up here. The Dodo plane is pulling this sign. Now it's for a club called 919. It says Y69 when you can 919. A lot of people didn't get the joke, so it's referencing a club that's going to be called 919, but okay, as for the actual joke itself, I can't believe I'm explaining this. So you've got 69. If you can imagine how people's bodies are positioned, right, then you just add one more person in the middle of that, right? You've got a 919. Anyway, moving on, I don't want to talk about this, but this is based off a real-life club called 1111. You can see that this is definitely based off it because the font is basically the exact same. So not only is Rockstar are copying certain locations, they'll also be putting their own versions of specific clubs and businesses in the game as well. And there we go, that's GTA 6 versus real life. Let me know what you think, let me know how you think Rockstar did. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more stuff like this, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Boys. Top.